My name is Lilani Grace and I have lip filler. Okay, you guys, as you've probably seen by the title, I am talking about my first experience getting lip filler today. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen a little bit here and there about what I got done. I posted a little bit of the actual process and I've been kind of keeping you guys updated on Instagram as well. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you're following me over there because uh, I post some pretty cool stuff over there. Cannot really, I post about my life. If you're interested in that, go take a look. I got my lips filled with Dr. Hatton at the Helix Integrative Health on February 13th. It is now currently March 4th, so it's been almost three weeks now since I got my lips filled. So I'm gonna be inserting footage of the actual appointment and um, I took a few update videos on my phone which will also be inserted into this video. So I'm just gonna talk about my experience a little bit and how they're doing now, I guess. So if you're interested in finding out about lip filler, keep watching. So first things first, I went to Dr. Hatton's office and got a consult done on February 12th. I just kind of asked him if what I wanted was possible and how the healing would be, how long it would last. Yeah, just kind of what I wanted to know, which wasn't a lot. I had done a decent amount of research on lip filler before I actually got it done. That's another thing. Make sure you're researching your doctor. If you're thinking about getting this done, go to someone who has good reviews and um, you know, it's just a nice person in general. Dr. Hatton was very nice and made me, made me feel super comfortable, so that was really good. And then I booked my lip filler appointment for the next day, which was the 13th. The consult only lasted for like maybe 10 minutes because I didn't have a ton of questions to ask. Um, I basically just told him I just wanted my top lip to be fuller. I didn't really need anything done to my bottom lip. And I wanted most of the volume just in the in the cupid's bow area. I didn't want my lips to get bigger on the sides really. I kind of like that more like doll-like shape where it's just like most of the volume's in the center of the lips rather than having like huge duck lips like that. You know, that's what I personally wanted. He said, yeah, that's possible. We'll just concentrate on the middle section of your lip and I was back the next day. So I got to my actual lip filling appointment and first things first, he just kind of went over exactly where I wanted it filled, made a couple marks on my lips and then threw on the numbing cream. So um, the numbing cream went on for like 10 minutes or so, just kind of slathered it all over my lips. I was talking while I had the stuff on my lips so I ended up with a numb tongue and cheek as well because it got inside my mouth. And so it felt kind of weird. Okay, so I am completely numb now. I can't feel anything. My tongue's numb too, and my cheek. Uh, it's time. Oh, Hi. Hi. <laughs> but it was nice having that when <laughs> the needle started going in. So I just did half a syringe of filler because again, all I wanted done was my top lip and I didn't want a huge change. I just wanted more volume around the cupid's bow area. So he started injecting and he probably stuck the needle in like 20 times in my top lip. I don't know, I'd have to go back and count. I'm gonna be showing you all the footage. He sticks it in quite a few times in the top. All right, so you ready? We're gonna start the first one. Okay. So, small folk, how'd you feel there? I didn't even feel it. Perfect, that's what we want. So we're gonna add a little bit of product. There we go. So we're already adding some product, but we want more fill into the middle. We're not adding huge amounts. So we're just like Your tiny little pinches. Mm-hmm. But what I'll get you to do is you can grab your mirror and you can already see a huge difference in his lip. Oh right? wow! Oh, that's yeah. so bizarre. <laughs> oh, I'm so Look excited. <laughs> Perfect. So the key is staying very superficial, right? When we do the injections, we're not going deep into the lip. We're mm -hmm. staying very, very close to the surface because you want to see the product that you're buying. Yeah. So if we want, we can go really deep, and we can hide like 
a thousand dollars worth of filler, but that's no fun. <laughs> no. We don't want that at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna match this side to the other side now. But you can take a quick look. That's crazy. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. And you can see how superficial I'm being to the skin. We're just doing little bits of product. Maybe a little bit. And now you can see we're starting to get that symmetry going on. Obviously what we are gonna do is go back and massage it. Because okay. you don't want lumps happening. Yeah. So we'll go back and massage it in. Perfect. Good. There you go, so take a quick look. That's so weird. <laughs> Yeah, each time he put the needle in, he's just injecting a tiny little bit. And it was really crazy to see because he started on my right side and then let me see what it looked like before moving on to the left side. So this side was already bigger and this side was still my regular lip. So it looked really crazy to me. And then, yeah, moved on to this side and even the mouth. And then he did end up putting a few injections in my bottom lip. I think he did five total with just a tiny little bit each because filler also helps with hydration. It's hyaluronic acid, so it holds on to water and it just helps to moisturize your lips. Um, I don't feel like I've seen a huge difference in the moisture of my lips, but that could very well be just because it's stinking cold outside and dry and my like everything's just dry right now. So I don't really see the benefit of that yet. Maybe I will, I'm not sure. So yeah, he just put a few little spots in the bottom, but I don't like see a difference with my bottom lip because I already had a full bottom lip. And then once that was done, he kind of massaged the product into my lip. Again, my lips were numb, so I didn't feel any of this, by the way. Him putting the needle in kind of felt like a tiny little pinch, but not like painful at all. So I couldn't really feel it. The bottom I felt more because he, I don't think the numbing went down low enough for that. But again, it still wasn't really painful. So yeah, he kind of massaged it into my lip and then kind of checked from both sides and injected here and there until they were perfect in his opinion. Yeah, that was it. I don't think I got video of him massaging my lip or like finishing off the filler. I don't even think I got the bottom lip filler in the video. I did end up taking a few Tylenol that day just because it was uncomfortable and kind of tight feeling. I tried to drink out of straw later that day that did not work. Trying to like do that shape with my mouth was really uncomfortable and just tight. And they definitely swole, swole, swole. They were swollen. They were swollen for about a day. And I did get some bruising in my top lip, but not nearly as much as I expected. I just had like a little bruise over here and a little bruise over here, which you'll see in the update videos. My bottom lip didn't bruise at all. Now I will show you all the update videos. Each of the updates say when they were. And I will give you my final update after that. It is now about 9.30 at night, the day of getting my fillers. I am starting to get a little bit of bruising. I feel pretty good, a little bit uncomfortable, especially when I smile and they get tight. But other than that, they feel really good. So um, the aftercare for lip fillers is pretty simple. Don't touch them. Put lots of lip chap on. So that's what I've been doing. I'm probably going to take a couple of Tylenol before I go to sleep. Just to help with some discomfort. But damn, they look good. Oh, I just love them so much. It is currently 5 a.m. the next morning. This is supposed to be as swollen as they're going to get. They actually don't look too crazy. And uh, not as bruised as I expected either. They are definitely uncomfortable this morning. Very tight. Time to go to the gym. Today I made the mistake of wearing a liquid lipstick to work and it made my lips feel very dry and tight all day. On top of them already feeling dry and tight, so it felt good to come home and take it off and put lip tap on. They look a little more bruised now. But other than that, they're feeling really good. I thought I'd be really sore after having to talk to people all day, but they felt fine. Oh, I wanted to make a note. Yesterday when I got it done, I could feel like little balls of product where he injected it. Today, pretty much all the little spots in the left side, I can't really feel much anymore. I can feel one of them. And then on this side, I can still feel a couple. And then the bottom is pretty much gone. 
Oh, it feels weird to rub them together. We are now on day three of lip filler. Day three, day three after getting lip filler. Still a little bit bruised, but feeling good. Like they're not really that sore to touch anymore. They do still have some lumps in them, but they definitely feel better. Looking real cute. I know I'm not looking real cute. It looked like it just got up. I've been up for two hours. I have a cold now that Kyle gave me, but I'm still so happy with the results. I just realized that my last update was uh, three days after getting lip filler because originally I was going to film this video like a week after getting lip filler, but then I realized they weren't completely healed and I wanted to wait until they were more healed to do the video. Hence, no update past three days because I figured I'd be doing this video almost two weeks ago. So like I said, I am now almost three weeks post-treatment and I can still feel a little bit of a lump on this side right here and a little bit of a lump right over here. The rest has all kind of absorbed into my lip. I can't even really feel it if I'm rubbing my lips together, but if I run my tongue over it, I can feel it. I can feel it right there. And right there. There's actually kind of two little bumps. Right there and right there. But I don't feel like you can see any of that. And I don't feel like they look too crazy. Like I don't, most people can't even tell that I got anything done, especially men, because men are oblivious. I've only had one person who didn't know that I was getting lip filler, be like, oh, you got lip filler. And she saw me the day after I got it done, so they were pretty swollen. But yeah, I still, f I feel like they still look pretty natural. I didn't want the crazy duck lips that you see on some people. So I feel like Dr. Hatton definitely achieved that for me. And I am super happy with the results. Like this is something I've wanted to do basically my whole life. Before I even knew lip filler was a thing, I knew that my top lip was smaller than my bottom lip and it bothered me. Not because anyone told me it should be anything different. It's just something that I wanted to see. Like I would always play with my lip and be like, oh, I wish my lip was like this or whatever. You can ask my sister growing up. We both would <laughs> go like this all the time. Oh, I want Angelina Jolie lips. Obviously, I don't have that big of lips, but I definitely am happy with the proportion that they are now. I feel like my top lip actually matches my bottom lip a lot more. And when I smile, you can still see my top lip. Before, when I smiled, my top lip just disappeared and that really bugged me too. That's why I never smile in any of my makeup photos. Fun fact. I don't know what else can I update you on. Oh, so the filler that Dr. Hatton used is the Ju Juvederm Plus, I believe. I have a picture of it. Juvederm Ultra Plus. He said that this will last anywhere from three to six months. The first time that you get lip filler, it usually absorbs into your body faster than it does if you keep going because it's a uh, foreign object in your body, so your body just wants to get rid of it. But if you keep doing it, then it, the last longer and longer the more you do it. I definitely have plans to get it done again once this wears off because I am obsessed with the way they look now. And like I said, I did this only for me. I didn't do it for anyone else. I didn't do it because anyone told me I should. It was purely something that I've always wanted to do. So I did it for me. That's it. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to answer any of your questions. I guess that's it. I don't know what else to talk about. I've got great lips now. <laughs> okay. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.